Just a second. It's really you! Hi, come in! Let me hug you. I'm so happy to finally meet up again. It's been, what, three months? Yeah, way too long. So, how have things been going? That's good. I'm also doing fine. Stuff has been mostly the same around here. Well, except for one thing. Come here, I want to show you. Ta-da! I got a fish tank. It's really pretty, isn't it? This aquarium is my new pride and joy. I never realized keeping fish could be so much fun. Of course it took a long time to do all the research, get proper tank decor, filtration, yada yada, but it was so worth it. There were three different species in here total. Those big blue fish with the red spots are called discus, and the two smaller species are both types of tetras. The one with the red and blue stripes? That's the cardinal tetra, and the silver one with the red face is called a rummy nose tetra. No! <laughs> Not runny. Rummy. I have no idea why they're called that, but who am I to judge? All these fish come from South America. Well, these ones specifically were bred in captivity, but their species are from the Amazon River. And together they look so pretty! I'm glad you like them too. Hey, I didn't want to mention this earlier, but you aren't acting like yourself. What's going on with that head of yours? You seem really out of it. Please, it's not nothing. I have been your friends for how many years now? Exactly. I know when something is up with you. Look, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but know that I'm your friend. No matter what, I won't judge. Yeah, we can sit on the couch. Just relax and take some deep breaths. You can tell me whenever you're ready. I'm all ears. I agree with you there. It's been a hard few months without you. I wish we could have kept meeting up, but life was kicking us both in the rear. Aw, you've been feeling lonely. I'm sorry. No, I'm serious. Loneliness is a really tough thing. I understand how you feel. It might not seem like it, but I was lonely too. That's actually one of the reasons why I got the fish. I wanted another living thing around me that I could interact with. And I figured fish were a pretty low maintenance pet. In reality, they require a lot more work than I thought. I still love having them around. Sorry, I don't want to make this all about me. I just wanted you to know that I could relate. I know I don't seem lonely right now. That's because we're finally talking face to face again. I saw you and that feeling just melted away. Hold on, what did you just call yourself? No, I heard that under your breath. Please. Tell me, why do you think you're stupid? Don't say that. It's okay to not feel the same way as me. Loneliness can stick with you, even when you're surrounded by people. I'm not upset with you for having these feelings. Of course you can ask for a favor. What do you need? Can I... what? Sorry. 
You mumbled a little bit. Of course I can cuddle you. That's no problem at all. If I knew that's what you wanted, I would have cuddled you earlier. You look surprised. Why? Sure, romantic partners cuddle, but friends can cuddle too. Who says they can't? Hey, stop overthinking it. I already said yes. I promise it's not weird. Just wait here and let me grab some stuff. I will be right back. Okay, I raided my bed for some things and now we can lay on the couch together. Just let me set this pillow up against the armrest and can you stand up for a second? Thank you. I'm just gonna lay down and you can lay on top of me. What's with the hesitation? Aren't you the one who wanted to cuddle? I already told you, it's perfectly fine for friends to cuddle. There is nothing romantic about it, unless we say so. How about a phrase it this way? It's normal for friends to hug, right? And if you think about it, cuddles are just like a hug, but longer. You didn't think about it like that, did you? Now come here and snuggle with me. That's the spirit. Rest your head on my shoulder. Now we can cover ourselves in the blanket and... Perfect. All nice and snug. Are you comfy? Good. Is there anything else I can do for you? Of course I can play with your hair. How does this feel? I'm glad. Now we can simply relax and enjoy this moment together. It's nice to see a smile on your face again. I miss that. <sighs> for the 15th time, yes, I'm sure it's okay for us to cuddle. Don't get me wrong, I understand why you were nervous. As a society, we place these really weird boundaries on touch. like. It's okay to hug your friends, but not for too long, otherwise it's romantic. And you can pat a buddy on the back just fine, but holding hands? That's somehow a couple thing. This stuff is especially weird for guys. For some reason, two girls can be super touchy with each other and still be seen as friends. But if two men, or even a man and a woman, sit too close together, then it's suddenly romantic. But I promise you, those social rules are BS. People can hug and cuddle and still be platonic with each other. We're living proof, aren't we? Exactly. I do want you to know that I am proud of you. It's great that you were able to speak up even though you were scared. And it makes me happy knowing that I can help my friend feel better. If you ever want to cuddle again in the future, just ask. No, it's not clingy or needy. Some people just need physical affection to know that they are cared about. And if you're one of those people, then that's okay. I'm more than happy to provide said affection. Don't thank me. I'm not doing anything special. Just. Supporting my friend. While we're at it, I might as well break another social taboo. I love you, and you are an amazing friend. You don't have to say it back if you don't want to. I know it took a lot of courage already to ask about cuddling. But just so you know, 
you don't have to be shy about saying it. I love you and I know you love me back. Is there anything you would like to do while we cuddle? We can keep talking or I can pull up videos on my phone or... Yeah, we can just watch the fish. That sounds nice. I love you too.